G'day, 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 everybody. Welcome to your 2021 Belgium Grand Prix Fantasy Review brought to you by Fox Blockhead. It will be a fantasy review. It will not be a race review because we're, it's the whole weekend. We're reviewing the whole weekend uh, with an important announcement before we get to anything else. Storing, scoring update. Basically, the driver's got 50% points, so we're getting 50% points as fantasy owners. Mm, okay, fair enough, 50%. Wasn't really a race. They got what, a lap and a half or two laps or something. Uh, streaks though, only ninety percent. If you got to the got to the five, so we'll see if that affects anyone later on. Uh, the thing that I'm not really happy about is the Mega Driver chip is being refunded. Effectively, everyone gets their Mega Driver back if you played it for Belgium. So there must have been enough for them to actually do this. But really, the chips, you play them, and it's a it's a gamble. It really is. Why Why get a refund? Why get a refund? Anyway, on to the race results. This is the fantasy result for the whole weekend. Verstappen took out the gold plate. The number one, the top step, 32 points. Russell, what is he doing up there? 25 points in second. Hamilton in third, 22.5. Mercedes were the top team on 31.5. And, and Verstappen got credited with the fastest lap. So he gets two and a half points. <laughs> I think officially Mazepin uh, ended up with the fastest race lap. You can't see I'm doing inverted commas, race lap. Um, race fastest lap. But if you look on the form Formula One website, there's no fastest lap being credited. So bonus two and a half for the Sappen owners. The driver's result looks like this with George Russell. Four times his price is what he brought home. Pretty amazing. No one got a zero, but looks lower than normal because, well, everyone got half points, didn't they? <laughs> the constructors' result looks like this, with Williams up in third again, four times their regular value, and Haas languishing, as usual, probably, pretty much, really. <laughs> the dream team looks like this, with Verstappen, Russell, Hamilton, Ricardo, and Gasly slap the turbo on Russell. Drop in Williams as your team, 166.5 points for $98.8 million. That's if you were to join this week. Of course, if you had more money to play with, maybe you could have put things differently and ended up with more points than that. If that was you, let me know. Let me know, let me know. The dud team, the bottom five drivers, Alonso, Mazepin, Sonoda, Stroll, Perez, and of course, Raikkonen got 3.5 as well. Haas as the team, 20 points. So not a negative this week. Everyone finished, well... Again, inverted. I'm going to stop doing that. Everyone finished uh, with 66.6 points. A million dollars. The driver's bonus chance uh, for this weekend in Belgium, we had a zero. No one was up there for a qualifying potential streak. So on to the race. Signs. One, two, three, four. Coming into Belgium. And plus nine. Not the plus ten like normal, but plus nine. Because everyone got 50% points and 90%. 90% for the uh, for the Belgian Grand Prix for a streak. So, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Looking ahead, Vettel. He's on one, two, three, coming into Belgium. Finished in Q3, made it to Q3. So he's up going, heading to Zandvoort with a potential of a streak plus five for Netherlands. Leclerc, one, two, into Belgium. Didn't make Q3. Sorry, Leclerc. And we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Norris, Gasly, Bottas, Ocon, and Alonso all on one heading into Belgium. Alonso missed out on Q3. So the rest of them, they're all up for a streak bonus in Russia, I think it is, after Italy and the sprint sprint race. Sonoda and Ocon, they were on two heading into Belgium. Sonoda did not make the points. Ocon did, though. He is up for a bonus coming into Italy. With the extra bonus chance with uh, the sprint, could be a possible turbo driver chance. And uh, we had Verstappen, Alonso, Gasly, Russell, Latifi, and Raikkonen all on one. And we lose Alonso and Raikkonen from that. Didn't make the points. Gasly, Verstappen, Russell, and Latifi are all still up for a streak in Russia. So if you notice, Verstappen is there for both. Gasly is there for both. So we have two possible chances there for a bonus in Russia. <laughs> Russia, as who you might want. 
Constructors bonus chance looks like this. Mercedes were on one and two in Belgium, and both of them made it to Q3. So plus five for Mercedes. Red Bull were on one, and they both made it to Q3. So they're heading to Zandvoort with a potential bonus in hand. McLaren, they both made, both drivers made it to Q3 in Belgium. So they're heading to Italy before the sprint qualifying for a potential bonus qualifying streak. Alpine, one, two, no, didn't make the points. We already saw that with Alonso. So they bow out. And in the race, Williams and AlphaTauri. Williams both made it to the points. AlphaTauri did not. So we have Williams on a streak of two heading to the Netherlands. And Ferrari are now on one. Both drivers making the points in Belgium. They're heading to Italy again, the sprint race, potentially taking home a race streak. Take a breath. The driver standings look like this. No change at the top. Hamilton leading Verstappen in the Fantasy Formula 1 Championship. Perez dropped down a little bit. Signs dropped up. Oh, well, that's in value. That's it. On the right-hand side, I was looking at that going, there's no change, but there's change. How does that happen? No, that's the price change on the right, position change on the left. Now, have a look at that. Top value, Norris. Anyone better than one, I think, is yellow highlighted. I think that's how I've made it. Second half, the bottom 10 looks like this. A few changes. Vettel up, Russell up, Giovinazzi, Sonoda, Stroll, Schumacher and Raikkonen all down in the standings. Ocon with a price rise. Good on you, Ocon. If you had him and you sold him, hey, you keep the price rise. Bonus. Constructor standings look like this. The only change, Williams up over Haas after those last two weeks. Pretty good. Mercedes still leading Red Bull by four points. Four points. McLaren, the value team. Not sure, why, not sure why they're green and Red Bull are yellow, though. Maybe there's a third decimal point there that I don't know about. <laughs> Maybe. Driver battles in qualifying after 12 races look like this. Gasly and Russell, the only two with a clean sweep so far. But there's plenty of other drivers. Verstappen, Hamilton, Leclerc, Giovinazzi, Schumacher. Who am I looking? Vettel, Norris, all with handy leads. Alpine, the only one that's tied 6-6 six to six after 12 races. On to the race battles. That's kind of similar. Verstappen, Hamilton, Russell, Schumacher, Gasly, Norris, all with handy leads. Ocon, Stroll, Leclerc, all winning. Alfa Romeo this time is the tied team 6-6. Six to six. So who do you want? Who do you want to take into the race? Who do you want to have with a uh, better than average chance of a bonus? Ooh, over to the Fantasy Private League. Here we go. If you'd like to join the Private League, there's the code. Come and join us. If you are one of the top three drivers, you'll be highlighted right here every weekend. We have number one, Burning Pistons, 132 points. Look at that. Look at that. Gasly with the turbo. Nice work. Russell, Mercedes. Pretty good, pretty good. Second place. The Fung and the Furious, 125.5 points. Norris with the turbo. That's a bit more of a standard turbo driver there. Verstappen, Mercedes. Not bad, not bad. Over to third place. Value City, 118.5 points. Leclerc with the turbo. Sneaking in Hamilton and Verstappen. Not bad. And picking up Russell. I think that's a bit of a trend. If you had Russell this weekend, you did all right. Still needs Russell and Schumacher to get the value for Hamilton and Verstappen, but doing well for Value City. Well, this week at least, I've seen the I've seen the table. <laughs> oh, this table is what I'm talking about. The Fantasy F1 League. The Value City down there in 25th place, 118.5 points. Sorry, I didn't get to swap the the places around. You see, initially, Soren played their Mega Driver first place up there. That's why they're in gold, 160 points. And uh, and I did this all, and it's all images, and I've imported it all, and I forgot to swap it out and change the colors. So Burning Pistons, you are first. You're meant to have gold. Fung and Furious, you're second. You're meant to have silver. And Value City was meant to have bronze. Uh, but perhaps this is good. See, Soren Team 1, they ended up with, I think, 96 points this weekend. So, Mega Driver on Verstappen was worth 64 points. So, Mega 
to take it out. I mean, this is me saying mega again, and I don't want to harp on about it, but, you know, for Soren to lose 64 points for a mega and get the chip back, like, if you mega Verstappen in a week, you know, he might get a 40-point haul, so your mega's going to net you another 80 points. I mean, 64 points isn't horrible. But maybe some people mega I don't know, someone else. Perez, who crashed out on the way to the grid, ended up dead last. If that's going to be a mega, then that's the chip. That's that's fantasy. That's what you do. You don't get a refund if your player gets injured in warm-ups before they play in the in the English Premier League. You don't get your mega your triple captain refunded. There's there's contingencies. But anyway. Anyway. Soren's enough ahead. I don't think anyone's going to catch Soren. But uh, you can see all the changes and movers up there. There you go. And the calendar looks like this. So we have Italy in two weeks' time that's got a, a sprint race attached to it. Russia's the one with the potential for Verstappen and... Who was it? Russell? No, Verstappen and, and Gasly. Uh, both with a potential double-double. Double, 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 triple, double. There's another sprint race that's meant to be out there somewhere. Who knows what it'll be? Maybe USA. Could be a good one. Uh, we've got the blank there after Turkey. We've got the question mark with the TBA where Australia used to be. And no races that are going to be a good time for me this season. It's all late nights here in Australia if we want to stay up and watch the Formula One. Oh, and keeping up with the calendar changes as well. Oh, my goodness. All righty. Anyway, on to this weekend, the Dutch Formula 1 Grand Prix, September 3rd to 5th. Hopefully you get to watch this and make your changes before qualifying, 3 p.m. September 4th. Remember, that's when you need to get your changes in, or you will have your team locked out from before. No changes. What are you going to do? How are you going to work it? That's up to you. That's not up to me. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I did work on my team just before this, and it's tricky to get the right balance knowing what's coming <laughs> and that's it you can't just plan for one race you've got to plan for multiple races oh but you've got your wild card oh you know there's there's so much it's it's great it's good it's enjoyable to be watching racing again it really is after that long summer or in australia winter break anyway stay safe everyone hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did let me know in the comments your thoughts and uh, after the Dutch Grand Prix, I'll be back again to give you a roundup of the fantasy results from the Dutch Formula One Grand Prix. I'm tipping Verstappen to be right up there with the Orange Army out in force. But that's just me. Until next time. I'll see you later, alligators. <laughs>